happening today. The state house is set to vote on campus carry. It would require public universities to allow handguns on campus. If given the thumbs up, it heads to Governor Abbott's desk. Meanwhile, Governor Abbott is expected to sign open carry. It is set to become law on New Year's Day 2016. Come tomorrow morning, the federal government could have fewer tools when it comes to investigating terrorism. The National Security Administration's Patriot Act is set to expire at midnight tonight. Steve Handelsman breaks it all down. At the NSA, as the deadline approaches, officials say they've started a shutdown. At midnight Sunday, Monday, if authority is lost, NSA would stop collecting the metadata. Who phoned who on every call in America? President Obama urged the Senate to act. And heaven forbid we've got uh, a problem where we could have prevented a terrorist attack or apprehended someone uh, who was engaged in dangerous activity, uh, but we didn't do so simply because of uh, inaction in the Senate. The House has approved a new plan, the Obama plan. More data, more mobile phone data would be collected, but phone companies would store the records, and the feds would need warrants to see it. Reforms that would put the federal government out of the business uh, of holding those records. But in the Senate, you, Republican president. Rand Paul is still blocking approval and vowing as he campaigns for president not to give up. The government is gathering all of your records all the time without your name on a warrant. Paul is so infuriating some in his own party, they're calling him a Democrat. And this is the cl classic liberal left-wing, anti-Bush, anti-Republican. In fact, most Democrats support the new plan to keep phone surveillance going. And many Republicans do. And make sure we have some ability to, uh, to detect uh, those who are trying to do us harm. NSA says whatever happens, it plans to keep the billions of phone records it's already collected.